is you take your dummy cylinder and some thick CA and start at the base put on a small drop of thick CA take your two strings side by side nice and tight together and lay them down into the glue and wait for the glue to dry Once the glue is dry, take your strings and then keeping them neatly side by side, just simply wrap them around the cylinder. Keep them up against each other, packed nice and tight. You'll get a little bit of a spiral effect, but that's okay. Make sure that the uh, two strings stay side by side and that they don't cross each other at any point and then you just continue to wrap them all the way up the cylinder after a while you can see it goes quite quickly a lot depends on uh, how you uh, hold the string I hold it with the string in these fingers and if you keep a little tension on it and turn at the same time it starts to go pretty quick. So as I'm doing it I'm just making sure there's no gaps. Stop every now and then and just push them against each other. And as you get towards the top, you gotta slow down a little. It's a little tricky. So I've stopped. So now what you want to do is carefully put a little drop of thick CA here and again lay the strings down into the glue and if you can rather than wait until the glue dries totally take one of the strings now just one of them and just tug it out of the glue now and keep the other one in there until it dries. Okay, so that drop of thick CA has dried. So take the free string now and carefully unravel it. Being careful not to disturb any of the other strings there. And you can see how the effect forms there just by leaving a gap. And then once it gets to the end, stop. And now grab your thin CA and put on a few drops and be careful you don't glue yourself to the cylinder at this point because the glue wicks through that string pretty quick and make sure you give all the strings a good soaking and then let that dry. Once the CA is all dried, grab your knife and carefully trim it off. And the same goes for the bottom. The uh, loose string that acted as the spacer you can just pull right out and then trim here. If you have a little bit of a loose edge there, you can glue that back down. And there you go. There's the fins on the cylinder. Do that nine more times or eight more times, and you're all done.